Hello, lovely Cancerian, and welcome back. If you're new, welcome in. I am a fellow Cancer sign, so I look forward to this general message. Let's start Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This reading is going to be for when you find this reading. So I'm looking for what is going on the, at the last week of May. And this is what's hidden in love. Like your person that you're connecting with right now, what are they thinking and what is hidden? Okay. Ending off May for Cancerian, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. We're going to start with the Romance Oracles. Remember, this reading will not resonate for all of you. If it doesn't resonate, look for the next reading. So this is for who you are connecting with right now, okay? Who you're thinking of right now. Now, this is for Cancerian. Let's start with the Romance Oracles. Your reading's going to be different than the other Zodiac signs, okay? New love, like it's different. Your readings are not going to be the same. This is new, love is here. So you definitely have someone this week that is reaching out, wanting to date you. You have a new perspective here. You have someone new. New love begins, Cancerian. Someone new is stirring up your romantic feelings here. So there's definitely a feeling here where you're excited, okay? This person is definitely going to beg you to go out with them, okay? New love, Cancerian. I'm loving it. At the bottom of the deck is true love. So it feels like this is someone here, Cancerian, where there's a kindred soul that's approaching you. This could be the one romance of a lifetime. It's saying this will be the romance of a lifetime. I'm hearing Natalie call. This will be. Da -da 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 -da, right? So like I'm feeling here, Cancerian, this person and you are going to be like two peas in a pod. You have someone new here that definitely thinks of you highly. They find you very gracious, very charming, and very uh, attractive. This is someone who I feel wants to hug you and kiss you from the beginning. It could be even like love's first kiss. But it feels like true love. This card just kind of teared. So it makes you eyes teary. This is someone here that's going to bring tears of joy, I feel. I feel the romance is so, such a, a romance of this lifetime that you're in, this new beginning, this new chapter that you're opening up here. Ge I was just going to call you Gemini. So some of you are Gemini Cancerian cusp like me. You could have, uh, you know, Gemini in your chart. We're in Gemini season. The sun is in Gemini. It's the season of lovers. So open up your heart to receive now because this is definitely don't block the door to love Cancerian. Keep the door wide open. New love is here this week is what I feel. So someone here is showing up this week, okay? For some of you, this is the person that you already met this week. And this person's about to stir the pot here. Because if you didn't feel romance like this ever in your life is what I'm feeling here, okay? So this is going to be an intuitive reading for you, Cancerian. Now let's just get this epiphany. I was not happy with the outcome, the desire of the readings that I put up. I almost was hesitant to delete the process that I just made, the reading. So let's see. This is the Cancerian. We're going to see the person this week that you're connecting with that comes up. So let's see if there's more than one. Because this is a new love that's starting. So I'm pretty sure I'm already intuitively feeling there's someone here from the past, okay? But let's see. I hate to bring the past into this situation that you're currently in. But well, we're gonna do another spread with the tarot. So this is the thoughts and secrets of the person that you are connecting with this week. So when you find this reading, this is for the Cancerian. What's the person? This week, their energy. Show me. Will you forgive me? Yep. There's that past. You have an ex from the past here that is going to be asking for your forgiveness. Okay. I feel Cancerian. There's somebody here that's popping up from the past right when you have new love. So the universe is definitely giving you some kind of test or some kind of energy where you have the chance to choose. So for some of you, like I feel, it feels like 
I'm feeling like a head over heart decision. The nights are very long without you. Yeah, this person misses you. This person is hoping that you will forgive them. The nights are long and hard. This person's having nightmares over this. They're having a hard time sleeping. My heart is very heavy. You have a heavy heart here, this person. Let's see. Well, this person's very sad without you. You see right through their soul. Yeah, you know this person inside out. You could read them like a book. You know who I'm talking about, Cancerians. I can't look at you in your eyes and I will find my way back to you. This person thinks that they can come back at any time and win you over. They feel that the soul connection that you had with them, they, they're having a hard time facing you. So this is someone who had a fall from grace. They have a lot of regret here. They're very guilty for what they have done, okay? That's why they're asking, will you forgive me? There's guilt. There's regret that they're hanging on to. They regret losing you. This person can't face you. They're experiencing a fall from grace. They have too much pride and ego to open up to you, to be authentic to you, to ask for your forgiveness. Yep, but you occupy their thoughts morning, noon, and night. This person thinks about you. So this is someone from your past, okay? Now, I'm going to put this here, and I want to leave this at the top. This will be what will be pouring into the reading. The new love is pouring into the reading. This is going to be on the side of the person, the ex, okay? And we will see if we can get the energy of this new person since they are here already. Now, let's start with the tarot. And I want to get the spread and then we'll go ahead and clarify it with the beautiful tapped in tarot. This is for Cancerian, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for what is hidden. What are the hidden secrets? with the person that's connecting this week to Cancerian. Now, I don't know the length of time of this X. Like if I'm asking for this week, I don't know how long this could be. This could be a while back, okay? It could be recently, but there's definitely new love here. Someone here could wear a cap. Not like a baseball cap, like a cap for um, a captain, a flight crew, uh, a captain, a, a hat like a police officer, an officer, somebody who's an authoritative figure. Okay, because I'm seeing this 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 masculine wearing the cap, man or a woman here. Okay, now at the bottom of the deck is Libra. We have justice is here. This is about partnerships for you, Cancerian. This is definitely going to be a very romantic time right now. This is going to be the time, like I feel, where you have a new chapter that's opening up here. Libra has the south node of the moon in it. So this tells me you're here to close off and bring back peace and harmony in what? Your love life, your relationships, your spirit of fun, joy. Like I feel, it's like the drama is now over. The drama is now behind you, Cancerian. This is going to be your overall energy. You're working Eight of Pentacles. I do feel you're very focused on your finances right now. I feel you are engaging in work finances. You're on the work front right now. I feel how your energy was in the past with this person. Moon, you knew this person had secrets, okay? Is there potential here? Strength card. It's going to be hard to overcome the difficulties, but I didn't say it can't be done. Leo energy. I feel that you're much now stronger than you were before, Cancerian. I feel that you cried a lot of tears in the past here. Moon is your card for me, or Pisces, or Leo that you have here. It feels like in the past here, Cancerian, when you thought about this person, you had a hidden emotions. They were hidden. They were deeply instilled with fear. You, even though you loved this person, you felt insecure around this person. You felt this person was hiding things, keeping secrets. And you listened to your intuition, which made you stronger. 
I feel from day one that you were with this person. You always listened to your gut. You were always the stronger one here. So when it came to how you felt emotionally, you were leaning more into your intuitive body here with the moon, listening to your inner voice. So you felt there was anxiety that was coming up around this person, but you overcame that. Now you trust your gut. When your gut, when your gut tells you get out of there, stand back, retaliate, you listen. Like I feel, you listen to the divine and you started to put your energy in self-worth and, and self-love and self-value. It's about the quality now of the relationships, not the quantity. So somebody here cannot buy you off, right? You cannot be bought. You're stronger now, okay? So it also feels like, what is your challenge? The Jupiter is the challenge here. So Jupiter is in the root of the reading. Karma is at work here, okay? This is like the negative side. Something here, like the forces are out of control right now. The universe is in control of how this will unfold. You know, right now, this is where luck is, is in the challenge position, okay? Your advice is eight of cups. Like I feel, I feel the situation you're currently in is you're walking away. This person, eight, 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 very significant. This is the year we're in. It's a karmic year. It's like what goes around, comes around. And then the energy here is three of swords. What goes around, comes around. Now the tables have turned. Your person is realizing you're not going to be someone's mistress or third kick or third will kick or you're not going to be in any love triangles. This is the potential of the long term. This is what you hope for. What's compatible with theirs. Like I said, you're stronger now. Three of Swords, Moon. There was a third party interference here. There was a lot of tears that were cried here over this person, like I feel. And the will is in the challenge position on your end. So the will is not favoring this. Once again, the will of fortune is not favoring this. Eight, eight, eight. So the strand card is saying you will overcome this past person, the difficulty, the heartbreak that you have overcome already. You're making a wise decision. Spirit saying, make a wise decision. It's like, why should you put yourself in a place again where grief is, where heartbreak is? It's like, this is heartbreak hotel around here with this person, okay? Now, I'm gonna push this over here for a little bit. This is gonna be, and you could revolt, reverse the roles. Like, cross watchers, you know, you're welcome at your own energy to pick up on this energy, but I'm just gonna say, you could place yourself where the placement is, but I'm strongly feeling Cancerian, this is your end, okay? Now, I'm gonna get their energy, okay? Now, show me spirit, guys, their energy. Show me, let's be very direct. Show me the person of the past that is connecting with Cancerian right now. Eight of Cups is your situation you're currently in. You're already drifted apart from this person. You're Eight of Cups, Moon, okay? So that's what I see. I want to shuffle again. They left you feeling rejected. They left you feeling deep wounds. There were deep wounds underneath the moon that you had to overcome here, okay? This person left you with no communication. This was somebody who was ghosting you, somebody who was always, uh, you know, avoiding your phone calls and leaving you in a place like you were talking to the to a ghost, like they ghosted you, this person. So here's their overall energy, Queen of Swords. They're very cold, they're very, they're very cold, they're very cut off, they turned their back on this connection. Their overall energy is, they're coming up, it's like misery likes company. This person's miserable right now, Cancerian. They could have air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius here, okay? This person, I wanna see, the past for this person, spirit. This is their immediate past, page of cups. Yeah, they reached out to you. That's for sure you're going to get a message. This is going to be that call where they reach out and they either text you. It's small. It's a small message. So it could come in an email, 
social media. Hey, how are you? How you doing? Page of Cups, right? It's going to be a small offer that they're going to reach out to you here with an apology. Show me, Spirit, what is their perspective in this relationship in the near future? Scorpio energy here. They're going to want to know if it's over or if they can repair this connection. This communication is going to be a harsh truth, but it's going to be an eye-opener for you. You're going to be able to hear the truth and nothing but the truth, like I'm feeling here. It's going to start off small, this conversation, but it's going to lead to them exposing something that they feared. Like they feared that you were going to be, that this was going to be over. They, they're like telling you, see the Queen of Swords? She's telling that horse, you know, that scorpionic energy, hold off, hold off. Don't, don't get, don't leave yet, right? Because they see you walking away. They see you drifting apart. They know that they hurt you and they know they hurt you badly. They could have Scorpio in their chart or air. This is somebody here that doesn't want you to leave, doesn't want to end this connection. So this is somebody here who's going to come forward, okay? And it, this is somebody here who, like I felt, is unable of watching you move on and ending a connection here, okay? So how does this person feel about Cancerian? The tower. They're shaking from this ending. The tower moment tells me right now this tower moment is happening in their life. Right now they're, they're, they're going through a massive change. Something here is ending. Something is crumbling for them. So when they, when how they feel about you, they feel that this tower moment was a big wake up call for them, a big shake up. I feel you triggered this person, Cancerian, to awaken. This is a spiritual awakening. This is Mars and Scorpio, and this is Scorpio. So this is going to be a powerful week with Pluto with the trine here, okay? So I felt overall this person does feel like there's some, there's a change that's happening here, and they don't, they don't, they feel that this change, it's not a sudden change. I feel on their end, they're going through some kind of sudden change. They're cutting ties here with something here. Or in a situation on their home front, something is shaking up. Something is ending here, okay? Now, I want to see the person that you're connecting with. Show me the situation they are currently in. They're in three of wands. They're turning their back on something here. This could be turning their back on a relationship, putting an ending, getting a divorce. Something here about a breakup that, and a shakeup that they're going through on their end. And they're hoping, like I feel, they're coming in. As you're leaving, they're trying to catch you. So it's like, let me catch cat, let me catch cancer so that cancer don't walk away. So there's rebounds. This person's coming in on the rebounds, okay? They just got out of a situation and they're hoping to come to you now, okay? Like I feel, because you're the one who gives the quality. You're the nurturer. You're the one who's giving. You're the one who's strong, Okay? So what is their challenge that they're currently in? Six of Swords. Like I said, they're not thrown out. This person's getting thrown out of a home or thrown out of a relationship or literally thrown out. The Six of Swords tells me this person is trying to find relief. They're on the move. So that tells me they are relocating. They could be traveling. Whatever it is, they're experiencing a chapter of their life where they're walking right into that eight, uh, you know, house scorpionic energy here so this is eighth house things okay this could have been the connection with this person you had was intimacy it was sexuality right there was you know a, a, a potential here and it also feels like this is somebody here who right now is very angry very cold very detached they're solo they're solo okay and they're, they're in the outs of something here. But I feel it's rebound here, right? They're like turning their back on a situation and they're walking away. They're leaving, actually. Now, show me the perspective that this person here has for Cancerian. What is the dynamic here? What's the long-term perspective that they see? What's this person seeing with Cancerian? How do they view this relationship with Cancerian? Too many cards, but I'm going to take these. The two that fell out was Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords. Like I said, they stabbed you in the back. 
okay? And now this person, like I said, the tables have turned. Now that's happening to them. This person has sleepless nights, like we said, okay? Now, how they're looking at the potential, they hope that they can give you this new, this new pentacle. They're hoping for an offer. They're coming in very regretful, very sorrowful, right? They definitely are somebody here who regrets that connection between you and them. The one that was sacred, the one that they were, you know, where you kept eye to eye, focus on them, and seven of wands. They know that you put up healthy boundaries. And with Pisces energy, they know that there's a block here. They know that the universe is blocking them from coming towards you. They're very intimate, like I said, when it comes to you. You know, this is the phallic symbol, ace of wands. They can't get their hands on you anymore. Their hands are tied. Pisces, Neptune. The block is not only the block that you block them online and don't want to hear from them because you're not going to allow them to pull you back down under because like I feel this person only wishes they could get their hands on you because there is a level of sexuality. This is like somebody who thinks highly sexual of you, okay? And now, like I'm saying, I want to leave that part there. So that you can see, like this person, when it says they can't look you in the eyes, they certainly can't. Their head is be, is looking the other way. They're looking at you from the backside. They know that they can't face you because they'd have to really be honest now, wouldn't they? Because look, you could read them like a book, like it says. But they're coming from behind. They're like, like trying to catch you, like catch me if you can kind of an energy here. At the bottom of the deck the whole time was the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, Cancerian. It's all about the home front. It's all about your career. It's all about your finances. They know that you're very genuine. They know that you are very practical, very committed in relationships. They know that you deserve the very best. This is how your new person sees you. Like I said, they see you as somebody here that is willing to definitely beg you for a date. You're Queen of Pentacles. You're very down to earth. You're patient. You're committed to your home front. You're committed to your work. You're committed to your family. You're committed, Cancerian, to what's practical. You're very motherly, man or a woman. There's a solid foundation that you have here with the Eight of Pentacles. Strength, it took a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, and tears to get to this position. So like I feel, you're not here to rock the boat. And like I feel, you're very, you're very grounded. This is on an emotional level. I don't even feel that anyone's even going to see that you're walking away from this person. It's like whatever's being done is done under the moon. It's hidden. Emotionally, you're not coming in emotionally. You're coming in thinking very logical and very practical. Okay? Now, I want to see what this new love is. Let's get a little bit of information, Spirit. Guys, if you could please. And thank you. Tell me more about this new love, this new person that's approaching Cancerian, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this reading helped you, I would gladly appreciate a comment, a like, or a share. I would really like you to comment so that I could pick up on your energy. If this reading is resonating for you. Now, I want to see this new love. Show me this new love. Show me the new love spirit this week. Well, there's your card, my love. Your chariot is awaiting you. The hermit is on the bottom of the deck, okay? It tells me that you've been needing some time to yourself, okay? You're very wise right now with the hermit card, Virgo energy. There's your chariot. Get ready to overcome the past relationships. The eight of cups is your card with that eight, eight, eight. You're moving into the nines. The nine of cups is wish fulfillment. Look at this. Look who got their groove back. It feels like Cancerian. For some of you, you've been not communicating. Like I said, you're not saying a word. The hermit tells me ghosting, no communication. There's no need for you to say a word. Like I feel, just focus on the positive energy. Focus on your finances. You're very strong. Like I said, queen of wands. That fire in your belly. Now you got your confidence back here. This new love, like I feel, is going to bring in that sexy side of you. Like I feel, if this person didn't dance and sing for you, this person will. 
they'll do anything for you. If they got a dance scene, this person is ready. Your hard work is paying off, Queen of Pentacles, strength card. This person, like I feel, is very fun, very confident. They could have Aries, Leo, Sands, but I also feel this is you now moving into this sexy, fiery, passionate side. The Three of Swords, there was a third party. You are overcoming some kind of a separation or some kind of a sorrowful situation. There was a betrayal. The Seven of Swords, absolutely, and the Nine of Swords. Like I said, there was even, this could have been a friend of a friend, someone you knew. The Three, Three here. So it's definitely confirming. This person that you're not talking to anymore from the past, the hermit, you already know the truth. You know that there was a third party here, okay? With the Queen of Wands situation, I feel that you are someone who's very attractive or, you know, you're very attractive. You're somebody here who is very confident, okay, in yourself. Whatever this is, they're definitely spying on you. They're checking up on you. This person was very deceitful. The Nine of Swords is definitely a feeling of, with this new love, I feel this is what you're leaving behind. You're leaving behind the disappointments, the mental anguish. You're leaving behind the depression. You're leaving behind these energies that you're coming from, okay, with this energy and you're moving towards victory. You're determined to overcome any obstacles. There's no stopping you anymore. Queen of Wands is man or a woman. You're in control of how this situation will unfold as you move forward. Like I feel, this person was very manipulative. I feel that you have the courage to persevere now. I'm gonna leave the reading there, Cancerian. If this reading helped you in any way, thank you. And if you need a personal advice, you can always look in the below the description area and you can reach out to me for a private session. I wish you all a blessing and I will see you for your June horoscope.